try to escape from prison. Um, what happened when you tried to escape? Do you know what? I went. I won. I got pulled out in a production uh, production order. Uh, so what I did, it took me to Highbury, Highbury Police Station. There was a bit of building work going off there, so they said moving down to Kentish Town. So I went to Kentish Town. And they said, well, you, I had a little chat with them in there, and I said, you know, they they, they said, uh, you know, if we, we want to talk to you about certain things, but I said, no, I'm not going to talk. Fuck, well, you might just send me back to Pentonville. And they said, but well, first we want to say you got to go on an ID parade. You want to take your picture and all that. So we're going to go from here to Tottenham. So I said, all right, coming in. Get me, put me handcuffs on. As he put me, as he put his handcuffs on, it was a, it was a must have been a rookie cop. He never put them on properly. It was a bit loose. So as I walked out, I could feel it. I could feel it. I thought, you know, if I, if I, if I give this a, a tug, it's going to come off in a minute. So I got in the van. I think there was eight old Bill with me there. A couple in a, in a car in front, three in the back, three with me. And we, we drove to there. And then I can always remember this, this cop was saying, you know what? You're going to go away for a real long time, brother. You know, you know what? You can do yourself a favour. Tell us about everything. Tell us about all your friends, anything you know. You'll be getting six years, you'll be out in free. I said, you know what, brother? I said, I'll be out tonight. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be out. I'll be home. I'll be, out. I'll be living the life again. And he just said, you, you, you prick. <laughs> and so we just, we had laughed. We just laughed about it. And then I went quiet. They went quiet. And when we got there, we pulled into the car park. And uh, there was a little voice inside my head saying, just fucking do it, man. Go, go, go. Take the handcuffs off and go. So I slipped them off. And I put it back on again. I thought, why? I just had the, you know, I needed a bit of luck and I needed just a, a bit of time to get through this. And this, there was this voice in my kept saying, don't do it. You know, you know, don't do it. You know, it's not worth the hassle. You know, you're going to get done for GBH. You're going to get done for this. And it's going to be fucking murder. And there's always that voice I've always had was so powerful in my head for years. In the bit that, you know, when I went on a bit of work, you can do this. Just fucking go for it. The same voice was there. And he just said, go for it. Just fucking do it till. So... As it just happened, the first car pulled up against the wall, no one got out. The second car pulled up against the wall, no one got out. I thought, lovely. The geezer in front went in, knocked on the door, walked in. I'm left with two, two coppers. And I thought, you know what? I, I don't know if I can open that van door, you know, because I don't want to start whacking them and then I can't get the fucking out of the van because the central locking or something, yeah? Because I was, I was in the back. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the guy behind me started reading the paper. And then the guy in front of me, for some fucking reason, he opened the door and stepped down. So I thought, fuck it, the cuffs were off, and I went, bam, nuts. You know, I just whacked him on the chin. He's, he's gone on his Aris. And, uh, and I thought, I'm out of here. I've gone down, I've gone round the corner, and just as I got there, three old Bill were coming in through the gate, and they put their hands up, and they fucking come after me. So I ran and jumped on a, on a car, on a, on, a, on, a, on a bonnet, on a, on a roof, on a van, and jumped on the wall. Thought, lovely, I'm out of here now. But as I went over the cuff, I was still on my wrist, got caught on the thing, and I couldn't pull over. And it, it, it just enough time for someone to come up the car, up the van, and jump round my neck. The next thing I knew, I was on the floor between the car and the wall in a load of mud. And they were they, they were they were having a little dig at me. You know, they broke my three of my ribs, on my shoulder, and busted my eye. And uh, I was quite fortunate, believe it or not, even though I was I sustained them them sort of bruises, uh, because just at that moment, my my solicitor came through the door. They had handcuffed me by this time, and. Uh, he said, what's going on? What the fuck is happening? You know, what's going on? And I said, listen, I've just got out of the van. They just all jumped me. <laughs> I said, I'm handcuffed. Yeah. And they said, no, he tried to escape, blah, blah. And then um, I went back to Pentonville. Um, and then I got put in the patches, you know, the yellow and green, yellow and green stripe. They said I was off key. I went down the block for a week. And then I got back on the wing. 